I am Pugat. Jennifer, if you think Uno is fun, you should try ATM. Oh, no, dude. He's not talking about an automatic I know what machine, he's talking if you know about. what I mean. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll tell my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Wax Daddy, who there we still go. have to have on the stream. Goat Billy. Goat Billy. I think Pop's childhood balance came from gifting porta potties on the porches of people who he felt upset with. Uh, that's a good story. I'm all ears. We can't. <laughs> Come on. All right. Pa Goat Billy would not have brought that up uh, if he didn't want you to tell the story. All right. So I was in high school. I was a runt. I remember in ninth grade, this one guy, I'm just going to say his name is Brad, just was just picked on me ruthlessly, bully, the whole deal. Well, in my junior year, you know, I wasn't such a small kid anymore, and I hated his guts. So, uh, you know, me and two of my buddies were out, you know, messing around on 696 when they were building it back in the day. And I'm like, you know who lives around here? A guy named Brad I hate. My two buddies are like, yeah, fuck him. And I'm like, yeah, let's go fuck him up. So we're like, you know what? Let's take that porta potty and take it a mile and a half around the golf course and leave it on his front lawn. Yeah, okay. So we literally borrowed a wheelbarrow <laughs> from the construction site, picked up a porta shitter, and like literally took it down the road like a mile with my buddy on each side, like balancing so it wouldn't fall over and people were driving by <laughs> laughing they're like that's awesome <laughs> we literally put it in his front yard right door open pushed it against the front door so we had to come out of the front door to go oh around oh boy and then it was garbage day garbage and we day. went down his block and like took everyone's garbage bags and made a pyramid of trash in his front yard <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> That's awesome. We just crossed 1,200 viewers. Thank you all for tuning in tonight, and thank you for another uh, story that involves fecal matter, Pop. I mean, that goes right up there with the Pringles can full of shit. That was a good but yeah, You're shitting one Pringles can, and no <laughs> one ever lets you forget about it. Well, God you, damn it. You did do it in front of an audience, I, and then you told the story in front of an audience of 125,000 people, so, I mean... All right, all right, yeah, okay. You did it to yourself, bro. <laughs> you got a point, you got a point. And guess what? Your girlfriend's shaped like a dick. Yep, there you go. But it's so delicious. Oh my God, that shit is so good. Hey, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, what? Get yourself a bottle of this Jameson cold brew. Ooh. It's a whiskey mixed with uh, some kind of essence of coffee. So good. But it is so smooth i don't know how they do it like literally it's great so how do you how do you drink it straight in I, coffee or i just drink it you, straight you can uh, yeah it, well uh, on the rocks neat no nah, i'm i'm beyond that i'm a straight guy <laughs> okay I, i'm four fingers yeah okay. four fingers so feet. straight oh <laughs> but i'm just saying that uh this, this you can good. mix it with clue and cream you can yeah, I've never it, seen that. You can mix it with this Tennessee Old Smoky um, Caramel Whiskey. I was going to say, how did that work out? That was actually pretty tasty. All right. It was good. Lives mm. out. He says, Voices of Bran Stoker's Dracula, which I, I haven't seen enough to actually you know, do that one, or Joe Pesci from Casino. Hmm. Joe Pesci. That, that one. I don't know if I could do Joe Pesci from Casino. You take your boots off, you put your feet up on the table, you shit kicking stinky horse manure smelling motherfucker, <laughs> you! You do that again, I'm gonna stick you in a hole in the fucking desert! <laughs> Which he did. Which he did, yeah. He oh did. man, the first time that, that I saw Casino when Joe Pesci gets whacked, that is some gnarly shit. He had it coming. He had it coming. That he motherfucker. He was gnarly. Shit. That, oh, yeah. that motherfucker had that shit coming. He. That seems to be his role in a Scorsese movie. He plays like this little Napoleon dude who kicks a lot of ass and pisses off a lot of people, but then he always dies extremely well. <laughs> Very gnarly, yep. but extremely well. Uh, M. Pugat. Jennifer, if you think Uno is fun, you should try ATM. Oh, no, dude. He's not talking about an automatic I know what machine, he's talking if you about. know what I mean. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll tell my husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was that was good. That was right. very good. I don't really want to play it, but he's the boss. 
Touche. Hey, hey, all right. Yeah. You never go ass to mouth. I've never gone ass to mouth. You don't go ass to mouth. I've never gone ass to mouth. I don't, uh, yeah. I don't know what that's. Is that in Casino? No. <laughs> Clerks 2. I know. Clerks 2. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Clerks, yeah. <laughs> Another good movie. Totally different than Casino. Yeah. Yep. Yes, very much different. James P., $25 donation. Never marry a stripper and never date an ex-paid professional, as told to me by my friend. Um, I put that out a long time ago. You don't ever mess on a permanent basis with a woman who's ever been connected to the sex industry. In you never turn shape. a whore into a housewife. You don't do it. You don't do it. Okay, question. There's We, we were just saying that there's so many, um, what's it called? OnlyFans. Yeah. There's so many girls in OnlyFans. Yep. Do you think that that's... Uh, it's going to blow up in their think, face? Yeah. Do you think <laughs> men will count that? Is, yes. I don't know what they do. Do they do they take clothes off or do they, you can do whatever you want? It, it all it all depends. Like, like if they're like, you know, cooking or doing something innocuous, no. But, but if they're the, doing any sex shit at all, it's going to blow up in their face. No. Let's just be honest. No 18-year-old chick is starting an OnlyFans to cook I know. unless they're cooking naked. I I, I'm j- uh. yeah. and, and these chicks are being <laughs> groomed by all of this social media attention that they get while they're teenagers mm. to the point where they feel like they have to start an OnlyFans at 18 in order to capitalize on their innate value. Mm. Yeah. They're getting in the butt. Watch yourself some Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern and uh, leave the butt hurt at home, okay?